In this video, we're going to do a comparison between Google Drive assignments and Google assignments using their LTI option. So um, a lot of similarities, but a little bit different view. So we're going to highlight a few key differences. When you go to Add Materials, Add Assignment, when you're creating a Google Drive assignment, uh, you can do all of the steps just in this one window. So you can give it a name, instructions, add your document. Um, you do only get the option to add one document, um, where the other one you can add multiple documents. And the Google Picker is not awesome from this standpoint, you, unless you know the title. So if you know what you're looking for, you can search for it. And you can find the document that you want, and you can attach it. Um, it creates copy for every student. It creates those in a folder in your drive. So very similar between both of the assignment tools. But here you can add your points and select the grading category. So this is a one-step process. When you're down here at this bottom scalar rubric, you can choose to create a new rubric. Or if you've created rubrics in Schoology before, you can attach a rubric to it. So this is an option in both programs or both opportunities. Um, to add rubrics and grade with those rubrics. You can also choose to publish, unpublish, and individually assign to students, again, all from the same window, uh, same as copy to courses. Now, with both the Google Drive assignments and the Google Assignments LTI, copying to courses does not take the documents with it. So I was really hoping this was gonna be a fix for the LTI app. Um, but it does not. The documents are static within that course or linked courses that it's created in. If you add it to resources or copy it to other courses, the documents do not come with it. So it's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. And then you can create the assignment. Um, when you create the Google Drive assignment, it gives you this opportunity to view in progress. So it tells you if students have opened the document and if they've opened it, you can actually participate with them on the document as it's in progress from the Schoology window. And then when you go to submissions, then it gives you the opportunity to see all the students that have submissions, their submissions are here, and then you can add points and do whatever grading that you need to from this window. The kind of difficult thing is that the more students you have turning this assignment in, it's not an easy navigation between students. So it's like you just have to keep going down this list and then scroll up to view it and then scroll down to find the next student and scroll up to view it. Um, so that is a little bit different or use the filters so that you're only seeing the ones that need grading. So after you grade it, it falls off the list. So that's an option as well. When you're looking at the LTI option, so when you go to Google Assignments to create the assignment, there's a couple more steps just to get into it. So your points and your due date, your title and your instructions, your rubrics, your files. The nice thing is you can add more than one file. So it gives you the opportunity to find multiple and the file picker is a little bit cleaner. So you can look at things that you were working on recently. You can go to your drive and actually see your folders. and then kind of find your assignment in a little bit easier of a way if you forgot what you named it, but it still has a search bar if you want. Um, and then once you attach one file, you can attach multiple files. So if it's kind of a multi-piece assignment, you can attach multiple documents. You could also choose to not attach any documents at all, and then the students could create theirs from scratch. So if you don't have a template, that's fine. Um, the students, when they go open that assignment, have the opportunity to create a Google Doc, a Google Slide, or a Google um, Sheet. So that's another option as well. When you go into these assignments, the Google Assignments, LTI assignments, it will not let you see work in progress. You might be able to see it from your Google Drive if you go find the folder with the assignments in it and then access it from there, but it doesn't have that in progress opportunity like the Google Drive assignments do. Um, when you view submissions, 
It does give you the opportunity to create comment banks. So you can kind of save common comments that you are using regularly for grading an assignment. And then it lets you just kind of scroll through like from one student to the next to the next or to use this drop down to search for students to grade their assignment. And then it has the return option. So you can return the submission or multiple submissions to the students. Um, so just a little bit different view on the grading. Another piece of the Google Assignments LTI app is that once you've created it, it is a two-step process to go in to edit it, to actually assign it to a grading category because it defaults to ungraded. Also, if you want to individually assign it to students, then you would have that. Um, so again, it is multi-step to be able to actually get it into your gradebook. So from a student perspective, when you're accessing one of these Google assignments, um, you can click on it. So then when it opens, you have the opportunity to then open the assignment or open your file. So you can like click on the file and it will bring it open. And so then you can work on that assignment. Now, a few things that are different is like here in the share, they would have the opportunity to kind of share this with other people if they wanted to. So it's not like lockdown sharing. So just have to know that. Um, so it behaves just like any other kind of Google tool. Um, so yeah, so they can work on the assignment from there. If they click on open assignment, it'll give them the instructions and the points and everything else, but it also gives them the opportunity to add files. So if they wanted to add additional files to the submission, they could go to their Google Drive and add additional things. So if there's like multiple pieces that there's, the students need to turn in or create on their own and turn in, they can do that. And they can also create a new document, a new sheet or a new slide. Um, so maybe you don't have a template that you want the students to use. Um, they can actually create their new document to this assignment and then submit it when they're ready. So something different than Google Drive assignments in the traditional sense. And then when they're all finished with their assignment, they click submit and then they confirm this is the assignment that I'm submitting. Say yes, that's the assignment I'm submitting. And then it gets turned in. All right, so this same assignment set up as a Google Drive assignment for from the student perspective. Uh, when we click on to open it, it's going to open this window. It's going to give us the instructions, but no information about like points possible or anything. Then we go to my document. It's going to give us this kind of view and we can edit the document. So here is the slideshow. It's opening it up the same way. We still have the opportunity to share. So if we wanted to give this out to other people, then we can. It doesn't lock it down. Okay, and then um, we could work on the assignment like any other Google tool. There's still no opportunity to submit straight from this window. We would still need to go back to this window. So here's our document. We can actually see it in the Schoology window and we can submit the assignment. It's gonna ask you, are you sure you wanna submit the assignment? Yes, you wanna submit. So all of these are multiple step submissions for the student. Uh, it does look like the student has the opportunity to unsubmit that assignment for themselves. So if they wanted to unsubmit it before it was graded to continue to work on it, they could use this tap option up here in the right hand side. So if they've submitted it and they don't unsubmit it, then they have just comment only mode um, until it's unsubmitted back to them. And this is the Google Drive assignment view for this assignment. Kind of in summary, in messing around with these two options, um, just briefly, uh, since the Google Assignments LTI app is pretty new, 
Um, it's just going to come down to your personal preferences and your student preferences. So if you have an assignment that needs more than one document, then go with the LTI app. If you like being able to quickly access students um, in process, like while they're working on their assignment, then go with the Google Drive assignments. Um, the file pickers are definitely different. That was a big reason why they changed it up. So it's just going to come down to which one you feel more comfortable with and your students feel more comfortable with. But it, they both can essentially do the same thing. So if you do have questions, don't hesitate to reach out to an instructional coach. Good luck.